Okay, so this is just going to be a very quick video on how to set up Droidcam X on your Android device. So you're going to need two things for this. You're going to need an Android device, you're going to need to install the application on that device, and you're going to need the client application. Now, it currently only works on Windows and on Linux. You simply go over to the dev47apps.com website, download the installer, it's really simple, next, 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 and that is you good to go. And once you've downloaded and installed it, we just need to connect the phone. Now, this will work whether your computer is on a wired or wireless connection because it connects directly to the IP address of the device. Um, but you can use USB as well if you'd like to. Less latency and it means audio is going to be in sync a little better. So, what we've got here on the screen, this is my Android phone that I've got in front of me here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Droid Cam X on here just to make sure how it looks. So Droid Cam is free. Droid Cam X has a charge or paid uh, fee for it. It's about three ninety nine or four ninety nine. And um, the only real difference is is one is four eighty p and the other one does up to ten eighty p. So I've already bought Droid Cam X, so I'm going to open it up. And you can see on screen we've got some details. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open the client that we've installed on the PC already. So before I do, you'll notice that there's one that shows up called HD mode. If you click on that, it basically lets you filter through what mode you want to use it on. So I tend to use it just on 1080p, 16x9, and it is going to be 30 frames a second. And now we've got the app open there. We can go 192, 168, 1.108, which we're getting from the Wi-Fi IP address shown on the device itself. And we're just going to use the video. We don't want the audio. So I'm going to click Start. And I'm just going to minimize the Android phone. And uh, now that we've got Droid Cam X, you'll see here. Just set my phone there. It's now using the rear camera on my phone. So just to give you a better kind of view of that, we will just enable just a little bit bigger of a picture. Now you can see that compared to the webcam I'm using and the mobile phone, the phone quality is a lot better at the moment it's out of focus but that is because you've got a whole bunch of options that you can see here so on the client you can control the zoom if you want to zoom in or not you can control whether you want a light to give your more kind of light you can control autofocus which there we go so that's it fixed now so we'll zoom out of my face because no one wants to see that but you can see that the image is um, a lot crisper that comes from your mobile phone compared to most webcams that you can buy and um, you've also got the option to rotate the image flip the image take pictures of it there's also some options that we can go into here for changing the the brightness we can also change the contrast and um, you can change white balance lock it you can do delay and um, volume boost if you are using the inbuilt microphone which is sometimes a hit and miss depending on the mobile device you've got depends how good the the actual microphone it is but it's a funky app it doesn't cost a lot of money it's really easy to set up and you can also use it on a lot of different things so if we open up discord for example we could pop on the settings on here we would just pop down to video settings and you can see on the drop down list we have droid cam so we're just going to pick that one i've got a few because i've been testing it out and you just hit test now because i've got it running on obs it won't let me use it on this at the moment but it's just a simple case of selecting it from there. I've used this on Microsoft Teams. I've used it on Discord. I've used it on Zoom. I've used it on the Google Classroom and a few other applications as well. So it doesn't seem to be too limited, but really easy to set up. Good little app. So hope this helps. Um, if you've liked the video, please um, drop a like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you all there. Oh, 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 oh,